if you look at your life and realize that you have so little control what's internal to you, you have control about what you think and how you look at the situation. I've been reading a lot of, been stumbling on a lot of quotes by Epictetus or Marcus Aurelius or Seneca, and they always sounded very, very smart. And then I read this book called The Art of Good Life by uh, William Irvin. And by the way, it's a phenomenal book. And if you guys, pick, if you pick up this book and you're new to Stoicism, skip the first three chapters because it's a, you know, it's a, it's a lot about, it's a, it's about uh, history of different philosophies and go to chapter four, I think. This is where he starts talking about Stoic philosophy. You can come back to the first three chapters later, but if you start with chapter four, I think it's going to make sure that you can, you're going to complete the book. But what really got, uh, got me into Stoicism is one quote by Epictetus and which sounds so banal and so plain, but it was an aha moment for me. And the quote is very simple. It says, some things are up to us, they're internal. Some things are not up to us, they're external. And that is a, such a simple quote. And I'm, I'm shrinking the quote a little bit, but if you look at your life and realize that you have so little control what's internal to you, you know, basically you have control about what you think and what you think, how you look at the situation, and you have very little control about anything else. You go into the airport to rent a car, and the car is not available. That's external. That's not up to you. You're taking a test. You, the only thing you have control over is how much, how you prepare for the test. You had to control how you showed up every day and studied for this test. But once you took the test, but even when you're taking the test, there are so many random factors. If, if you calculate, I, I'm, I'm just, when, I'm, when I visualize the test, I think about my CFA exam, where I brought two calculators you know, uh, to the exam, because what if the battery died in one? But while I was taking the test, there were so many things that I could not control. If the AC was working, if how well I slept last night, all the different things. So that was external to me. When somebody is rude to me, it's external to me. Now, this is very important. Even what I just said, somebody is rude to me. That's, an, that's my interpretation. Okay, this is another part of Stoic philosophy. I can look at what they said and I can perceive it as rude and therefore it's going to impact me. Or I can basically look at what they said and not phrase it as rude, but basically say just being different to what they said. And therefore, Stoic philosophy allows you to kind of reduce the downside volatility. You know, so I reframe what the person said as basically kind of being neutral. And, you know, and not taking it personally, you know, this, you know, whoever is rude to you, whatever, might have having a bad day or whatever, you don't know what's happening in the person's life. Therefore, if you take it, if you, if you take it as rude and that upsets you, you allowed yourself to be upset. That's internal. Again, see what they do is external. How you perceive it is internal to you. This is where you talk about reframing. That's what reframing comes in, right? You basically look what happens to you. And then you reframe it in a way that it doesn't hurt you. I forget one of the, the uh, Seneca Epictetus said or something along the lines that you would not allow a person to come to a house and trash it. But by reacting to what the person says, you basically allow them to get into your mind and do whatever they want in your mind. 